Hey y'all, welcome to Pleiadian Point of View. I'm Peyton and I'm a Pleiadian channel and starseed coach. In today's POV, the Pleiadians wanted to talk to us a little bit about authenticity, about being our authentic selves. And this is something that a lot of lightworkers and starseeds can really struggle with, right? For so many of us, we have spent most of our life probably keeping ourselves small, trying to keep our opinions to ourselves, to keep the peace, not really putting on blast what we believe. It's something that we've kind of been trained to do, to bite our tongues, to keep everyone else happy. But as the Pleiadians wanted to share with us in today's video, the time for that is over. The way we are of service in the world right now as an awakened community is through being our authentic selves, without apology, without keeping ourselves small, without biting our tongue. So the days of staying small to keep everyone else happy are gone. So what the Peas wanted to talk about today is the importance of all of us in the awakened community sharing who we truly are. They said that this is how we are of service to the collective is by shining our light as brightly as possible. And for a lot of us in the spiritual community, a lot of light workers and star seeds, this isn't really an easy thing to do, right? Because so many light workers and star seeds have experienced being criticized for their beliefs, being rejected, being ridiculed. And it could even make us feel very unsafe to show who we truly were, to show our skills and abilities, to actually say what we really thought and believed. It was something that could cause a lot of feelings of unsafety in us because it went against the grain of what everyone in the mainstream world believed. And so that can be very threatening as part of our survival instincts to brashly go against the flow, against the grain. But this is actually what we are here to do. The most important thing we can be doing as we all move through this ascension process is showing and being our authentic selves. And the guides say that we don't have to fear the rejection that we used to even a few years ago, because this is something that a lot of us have had some pretty rough experiences with. So it is not always super easy to just start sharing who you truly are when so much of our world wears a mask. And on top of our own experiences just in this lifetime, trying to tell our family where we were coming from or share our beliefs and thoughts with our friends and our community, for so many people, it just didn't go great, right? It was just not a positive experience. And going even beyond that, so many of us are bringing in energies from parallel lifetimes where things went really badly when we shared our skills and abilities with the world, right? We may still be drawing in energies from lifetimes where we were killed for this where we were tortured for being different, for sharing beliefs or having skills and abilities that made the average person uncomfortable. But that's actually the entire point of why we're here now is to shake the collective up like this, to start to be unafraid to share our opinions, our view of the world, even though the average person might not totally understand it. So the P's wanted us to know that we are completely protected and supported in doing this now. And this wasn't the case, you know, five or 10 years ago, it was a little riskier to be talking about all the things that we talk about in the spiritual community and certainly in these videos, but times have changed and we are here as light workers and star seeds to do the changing. So the piece wanted us to know what is so important in these energies is for us to share our authentic self however we can in our daily life. And that doesn't mean you have to do videos and blast it to the world, but just being willing to offer your true opinion when you're asked or share a different perspective than what everyone around you might be sharing. That's all they're asking us to do, to be willing to stand our ground. And for so many of us, we have kind of stayed in the background because we knew it would go over like a lead balloon. 
but those times are gone. So as the P's have been saying, we are moving into fifth dimensional energies. And guess what 5D energies are all about? Total transparency. We are moving into being a telepathic collective. And guess what happens when we become telepathic? There aren't any secrets anymore. Everything is on display for everyone. And already, as we are tiptoeing into fifth dimensional energies, so many people already have this ability. So many of us now are tapping into our telepathy, our clairvoyance, our clairsentience, which is the ability to feel energy, our claircognizance. So we are already starting to see as lightworkers and starseeds, anything that's not in integrity. Those things that used to be able to hide in the denser energies, but they can't hide anymore. So one of the reasons it's so important for us right now, according to the Pleiadians, to be getting used to sharing our authentic self is because that is the direction we are headed in. We can't hide anymore. What we are thinking, what we are feeling is out there in the open to anyone who can read energy. We're seeing through anything that's not in integrity. And so there's no hiding anymore. The light is on and there's nowhere to go, which is one of the reasons why we're seeing so much kind of chaos and drama in the world is because those energies that used to be able to hide in the darkness in the density, behind a mask, can't hide anymore. So we are all moving out into the open. And so the P's are encouraging us to take advantage of the new support we have. They said, this is how lightworkers and starseeds are of service right now. All we have to do is be our authentic self. And that just means saying what you really believe, sharing your opinion when you're asked, Helping people see things from another perspective, a higher dimensional perspective. That's how we are of service as lightworkers and starseeds. So the more we start to practice that and get comfortable with that, and y'all, it does take a little bit of practice because so many of us have had to hide our gifts and abilities for most of our lives. Especially if you are a starseed, you know what I'm talking about. This is not something that we felt safe necessarily in sharing, but Those times are over. Our authenticity is what is needed. It's what's going to help the collective move to the next timeline to complete this transition into fifth dimensional energies. So if you have been kind of dragging your feet in sharing your authentic self, the P's are encouraging us to take advantage of the very supportive energies right now. They said nothing is needed more by our world and for you to share your authentic self, to shine your light. And it doesn't matter how it's received. Some people, we will just be planting a seed for later, but all that matters is that you are your authentic self. That's the name of the game right now. So that is what the P's wanted to share with us in today's point of view. As always, if you want to learn all the amazing tools that the Pleiadians share in these videos, don't forget to click the link in the description to work with me one-on-one. And I hope this has helped you. Let me know in the comment box what you're doing to share your authentic self right now. Drop that in the comments. And while you're down there, don't forget, hit the subscribe button and the like button if you haven't done that yet. I'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.